kulay ng microwave sa radio wave. O kaya naman ng X-ray sa gamma rays. Alam kong pamilyar kayo sa mga nabanggit na salita. Ngunit ano nga ba ang pinagkaiba nila mula sa isa't isa? Ako si Sir D. Ramdam kong gusto niya nang malaman ang kasagutan sa mga katanungan na ito. Kaya simulan na natin. Let's have a short review of what you have learned before. In a transverse wave, the particles are vibrating perpendicular to its direction. A transverse wave has the following characteristics. The wavelength is the successive distance between two adjacent points of a wave. Crest is the highest point in a transverse wave and called the peak. Throw is the lowest point in a transverse wave. The wave's frequency refers to the number of full wavelengths that pass by a given point in space every second. Ang mga characteristics na ito ay maaaring makita sa mga electromagnetic radiation na nakaayos sa electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum is defined as the range of all the types of electromagnetic radiation tulad ng radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Ang bawat uri ng electromagnetic radiation ay nakaayos sa electromagnetic spectrum base sa wavelength, frequency, o kaya sa energy na dinadala nito. Mas mahaba ang wavelength, mas maliit ang energy at frequency na mayroon ng isang electromagnetic radiation. Mas maigsi ang wavelength, mas mataas at mas malaki ang frequency at energy naman na meron ito. Halimbawa, kung ikukumpara natin ang visible light sa ultraviolet light, masasabi nating mas mahaba ang wavelength ng visible light at the same time, maliit naman ang energy at frequency na mayroon ito kumpara kay ultraviolet. Maaari din nating ma-identify ang wavelength, frequency, o energy ng isang electromagnetic radiation gamit ang mga mathematical equations. To solve for the frequency, use the formula. Frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by wavelength. To solve for the wavelength, use the formula. Wavelength is equal to speed of light divided by frequency. To solve for the energy, use the following formula. Energy is equal to the Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency, or energy is equal to the product of the Planck's constant and speed of light divided by the wavelength. Let us try to answer this problem. What is the wavelength of a microwave with a frequency of 4.2 times 10 raised to 8 hertz? How much energy does it carry? Ang unang step ay identify ang mga given. We have frequency, speed of light, and Planck's constant. Next is to identify the unknown. We have wavelength and energy. Isunod ang paggamit ng formula. We have wavelength is equal to the speed of light divided by frequency and the formula for energy is equal to the Planck's constant multiplied by frequency. Next is to be followed by the substitution and answer. Tingnan mabuti ang pagkakasolve sa problem na ito. The calculated wavelength is 0.71 meters. And the calculated energy is 2.78 times 10 raised to negative 25 joules. Let us try to solve another problem. What is the wavelength of an EM wave with a wavelength of 6 times 10 raised to 10 meters? And what is its energy? Again, isulat natin kung ano ang given mula sa problem. In this case, we have wavelength, speed of light, and the Planck's constant. Isunod ang mga nawawala o hinahanap sa problem. Frequency and energy. Gagamitin natin ang formula na frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by wavelength and energy is equal to hc over lambda. Muli, Nandito ang substitution at ang sagot sa ating problem. Ang na-compute nating frequency ay 0.05 Hz at ang energy ay 3.31 times 10 raised to negative 36 joules. 
narito ang isang teknik na makakatulong sa iyo sa pag-aaral ng electromagnetic spectrum. Tandaan lamang ang rabbits make in every unusual expensive garden. Ito din ay naka-arrange na in decreasing wavelength but increasing frequency and energy. Tandaan na ang relationship ni wavelength kay frequency at energy ay inverse. Ibig sabihin, mas mahaba ang wavelength, mas maliit ang frequency at energy and vice versa. Samantala, ang relationship naman ng frequency at energy ay direct. Ibig sabihin, mas maliit ang frequency, maliit din ang energy na mayroon ng isang electromagnetic radiation. Maraming salamat sa iyong oras at pakikinig. Don't forget to like and share this video at mag-subscribe ka sa aming channel para notified ka sa aming mga future videos.